There's the logs. Yep, we're up here in the hills. You see that up there? We have ospreys that roost there every summer. I'm gonna pull in here. Oh, Henry. Good guy right there. So this is the inside of the cabin, the sharp chain. All uh, right, back up there is where it goes through. It's out of the controls, this is where I sit. Most uncomfortable chair ever. Most uncomfortable chair ever. So I have pillows, like put on top of it. Guess they don't want you falling asleep while you're working. That's not the case. So I have monitor system here. All right. So you can see this right here. Let's get this on a little bit better. There we go. This right here is what the log looks like. So if you see this flat spot right here, that is where it gets chipped off and a sideboard cut off of a round log. It squares it up on the sides for it to go through the curve saw. Um, that's what it's going to be cut into the boards. You can see the differences there. So you can see all kinds of logs. Okay, that's a two way. That's how many logs ran in you know, a 10 hour shift today. It will start over and recount after I get going and pass the log, first log through that optimizer out there. So the guys out there can see what I do. We got my saws running. It's five o'clock, we need to get going. So we turn everything on. Hydraulics, chipping head, chipping head, cant deck. Come over here. Turn on our waste system. That's the curve saw telling me I'm he's ready to run. Turn on some rolls, some more rolls. Sideboard deck, sideboard. So you can see up there, that's what I see. And you'll see it here in a second. Okay, here we go, first log of the night. I guess the little ones always get trapped in that corner, it seems like. So I got our thumpers, what we call them. They're actually press rolls. So what you do is you center that log up on that chain. You get it down, you have those teeth down there, and you can hear that it's loud. And it's gonna get even louder, so I won't talk much, but here we go. find the center of the log get it stretched right out over that chain so it doesn't fall off. and they do fall off so you find the center of balance on this and so as it's going through that optimizer over there that it just passed through it's reading what's the best possible cut on this log according to length and diameter get that big boy smacked down that over there is the head rig he cuts the big logs and the out-of-shape logs. And I cut the out-of-shape logs too, as you can tell. A big sweep. So you get the sweep up or down. This one is going to point up, kind of land it right on a tube so it doesn't fall off. guys out here in the backyard this is where our logs are stowed so you can see we have several decks of logs loggers have really been hopping away this winter and we're not running too 
strong this winter. Get new equipment in, get it pitched up. So if you look right there, that's what you call a debarker. So logs are loaded back that way. They come in through this area where you see the black is. I don't want to walk all the way down there. But you have knives in there and it spins it around and strips all the bark off. And it comes up here. The yellow, I guess I don't say it's a hexagon, hexagon. Bug <laughs> like, for instance, horseshoes, barbed wire, etc. It kicks it off to the side down here at this ramp here, and then our loader operator comes and picks it up. And it comes up through here. We'll come inside. All right. And this is where the log taker station is. It's right above me. And these what you call the windmills, and it kicks various logs. Now we're not running really big logs tonight, so it's going over, some small logs are going over to the header rig. Alright. Okay. It's too loud in here, you can't hear me, but I might put subtitles in here. So this is where I work at, my area. This is the logs I run. That's the sharp chain, that's the head rig. We'll go up here to these stairs. the optimizer to read the logs for the sharp chain sharp chain as you can see it's got teeth down there that the logs sit on to carry it through these two giant fan saws through the head rig handles big stuff and odd shaped stuff and it's gonna be loud in here so I'll probably have to yell hopefully you can hear me before the boards come off after they're getting shaped before they go down to this end that's loud. These are rollers that the logs travel on. My logs up from the sharp chain come out this way, fall into this belt. Big logs that have been cut down to eight inches come to here, called a transfer deck. They travel down this conveyor belt. As you can see, there they are. And this is what you call a resaw. For any boards that are too thick or oddly shaped, uh, like when you drop a log right there, you see that? Yeah, I dropped one. That uh, comes over here. Travels down. This direction. All the sideboards that come off the head rig and the sharp chain come to here. The logs come down to here. And this is where they land after we've cut them down at the north end. Come down here to the south end where they travel. Then they go through this belt here. And this is what you call a curve saw. The reason why it's called a curve saw because it has a gang of saws in here that will cut with the sweep of the log so it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. As they come out, we have a person that sits here, pulls the shims. You have to cut little shims off the sides of them to get it perfectly uniform. And then they fall out on this chain. They go up through here to what you call a trimmer. We have a person that feeds this up And go see, that's Nate, our electrician. Trying to figure something out, something's not working right. So, they go through there, and that optimizer right there reads the width and the length of the board and trims it accordingly. Also, we reads what you call wane. If it has wane on it, like this one for here, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can. But this end right here, well, that will get cut off because it's not a not a good board. You 
So, and after they get cut, they go back here into what you call a, a sorter. And after the sorter, they go down to a stacker. I'm not gonna walk all the way down there, but it gets stacked and then it goes outside to a kiln. All our mess pops downstairs. If you could see right down in there, well, that's a vibrating sister, it's downstairs. We're up a story, we're above everything. I'm three stories up right now. So it's a very big place. So, and then the bad boards like this one here, gets dumped out to what you call an edger. And the edger over here cuts what you call Wayne. Now that's called Wayne. And then we got millwrights back there fixing stuff. That's not working right. Getting stuff ready because we're on our lunch break right now. That's the reason why I'm doing this right at this point in time, so it's a little more quiet. It is loud in here. We wear earplugs. So, it goes through there. You have two circular saws that cut the edges off of it and make a good square board. And that's basically it. So this is where we produce lumber. It's all one by. Well, now you see how this stuff operates. Hey, on this guy? Hey, you trying to get me? Put the mask on, do on this guy? Okay, come here. There you are. Okay. He's just a crazy boy, aren't you? 